folks in Grand Isle. And you know, you may want to be with the, under the sprinkler or something today. Yeah. It's going to be hot. You need some sort of water. Yeah, cool, it's already sprinkler. Hot. Anything. And you saw those folks out at the uh, the cell, the, the uh, multitude, feed the multitudes. Yeah. It looked hot out there. Yeah, it but is. But they looked hot. like they were having fun. Yeah, well, of course you're having fun. It's Fourth of July. A lot of those people don't have to work today, so that's great. Now temperatures going to be climbing up, feeling like triple digits this afternoon. They're already starting to get pretty warm. But the question I think a lot of folks have: Will it rain this afternoon? Well, let's first start by taking a look at the water vapor loop. We have a six-hour loop taking place right here, and you can certainly see. Water vapor picking up a lot of atmospheric moisture right here down the coastline and within the last Let's say two hours here. You can see it kind of ballooning a little bit, bringing some clouds to areas south of the lake and even starting to stretch across Lake Pontchartrain. Before you know it, some cloud cover could be north of the lake as well. But where the rain is, is still off the coastline. Here again, you can start to see where a lot of those uh, rain showers are. Now, these are some thunderstorms, so we're seeing some lightning and thunder with those. The storm cells themselves, fairly stationary. This is a three hour loop we're looking at here, and you can see them barely moving over those three hours, gradually moving north. So, areas in Lower St. Bernard Parish, keep Keep in mind that you might be dealing with some thunderstorms within the last, within the next, I should say, 30 minutes or so. Other spots, though, that are dealing with some rain, very small cells just north of Jean Lafitte. You can see one of those cells over there. By Raceland, a little bit of rain starting to pop up. La Rose saw a few showers as well. And then back towards Homa, you can see one or two of these small little cells. Yes, we do have rain in the forecast today, right about 20 to 30 percent. So we'll say kind of isolated to spotty showers out there for the afternoon hours. And then as we push into the overnight hours, I think a lot of that rain moves out and it should not be a concern for the firework shows. But it's going to feel muggy this afternoon. A lot of moisture streaming up from the Gulf of Mexico. We do have high pressure down to the south and the wind drags across the Gulf of Mexico, which is very warm, moist water, bringing it into our atmosphere and increasing our dew points and humidity levels. Dew points are, of course, a measure of moisture in the atmosphere. When they get into the 70s, folks, we really start to feel it out there in the afternoon, which is why we do have a feels like number that's much higher than what the thermometer says. But even the thermometer saying some pretty high numbers. Let's take a look at some of these observations coming in. Partly sunny skies overall a really nice, <laughs> really nice afternoon, but a very warm afternoon as well. Already 91 degrees at the airport, Audubon at 94 and then Slidell looking at temperatures right now at about 91 degrees. Of course, we saw the dew points, the winds at the airport saying out of the northwest right now, but really over the course of the last few hours this morning, they have been out of the south and southwest again, ushering in that moisture. So 94 degrees, one of the observations that we came in. Let's talk about this. I know a lot of people today are going to be running out and meeting up with some family and friends for parks, at parks, for barbecues. And maybe on your way there, you think, oh, I got to stop by the grocery store and pick up something. But you got the kids in the car, or maybe a dog in the car. When temperatures are 94 degrees outside, it does not take very long after 10 minutes in the car. The inside temperature of that car already 114 degrees after 20 minutes gets up to 124 degrees by 30 minutes in the car 132 degrees. So what I'm trying to tell you here folks is that you don't want to just leave those pets or kids in the car even if you do have to briefly run inside. Look at that after 90 minutes inside temperature of a car 145 degrees. So make sure you, you do take precautions whether it be inside a car or outside of a car sunscreen going to be needed this afternoon drink a lot of bottled water and of course maybe wear a, a hat or something to protect your face from the sun. As far as rain goes, let's use precision cast to try to map some of this out. Precision cast does have a few thunderstorms popping up throughout the rest of the afternoon and evening hours. What you're looking at right here is about 530 tonight. By 930, when a lot of the fireworks shows taking place, it should clear out a bit. I do think the fireworks shows should be just fine tonight. Hot then for the rest of the week. Thursday, we are looking at a chance for some scattered showers in the afternoon, and that's also going to be the case for Friday as well, as the chances of rain increase to about 50%. Fireworks shows, though, don't worry about it. Should go off just fine here. Temperature is going to be in the 80s by 9 p.m., which is when the dueling barges fireworks show is set to take place. Temperature is about 86 degrees with about a 20% chance of rain. Let's look overall for today 90 to 95 degrees, depending on location. Sunshine and clouds say 20 to 30% chance of rain. Winds out of the south southwest. Then tonight, partly cloudy, still muggy. Temperatures between 74 and 79. And then, Eric, that seven day forecast going to, uh, like I said, increase the chances of rain. Uh, 40% tomorrow, say 50% by Friday, and then even over the weekend, they're going to be elevated a bit, say about 40%. So we could be dealing with a little bit more scattered shower activity. And you're a dog owner? I am. You will like this. Now, with your pinpoint forecast, meteorologist Derek Kevra. Welcome back, everybody. After seeing some showers this afternoon, most of us much drier out there right now. Take a look at the regional radar, and you can see that. Uh, well, the metro area now dry. We saw some showers uh, right about 3, 4 o'clock this afternoon, but it's been dry ever since then. At this point, it's just around Killian and just south of Livingston, the only spot dealing with any sort of rain here. It is uh, some heavier showers and some thunder and lightning mixed in there as well. But other than that one cell 
it is much quieter. Let's talk about some rainfall total. Some of the stuff that we saw earlier today. Not too much rain, but uh, at City Park we did see about six tenths of an inch. New Orleans Metro with uh, about four tenths of an inch of rain. And our studios here in the French Quarter saw just about three tenths. And then Metairie with under a tenth of an inch. And folks, other than that, you didn't see any rain. If you don't see your uh, name on the list here, you did not get any rain uh, this afternoon. And I think by the evening hours, we should be dry as well. But it was certainly hot out there. None of us escaped that heat. In fact, these are the uh, current feels like numbers. Homa feeling like 100 degrees out there right now. Slidell also feeling like 100 at the airport. We're seeing about 96 and Bell Chase at 98. Now you'll notice Macomb 79 degrees. That's because Macomb dealing with uh, one stray thunderstorm uh, that's moving past them. And of course, when we see those thunderstorms, we often see things cool down for a brief moment. Now it's been hot all weekend and it's not just been us that's been hot. In fact, it's been all over the southeast United States. We've had excessive heat warnings and heat advisories. Of course, we have avoided a lot of these, but take a look at just how this blankets the southeast and even extending up into parts of the Midwest. So why has it been so hot the last couple of days? We'll take a look at these numbers right now, then we'll talk about that in a second. Atlanta right now feels like 99 degrees. Of course, we saw New Orleans, Orlando 94, and even up in Washington feeling like 95. So the heat is there. Let's discuss how it got there and when it will leave. Well, initially, when we look at heat, a lot of times we focus on the jet stream or the storm track. Now, the jet stream kind of separates warm air and cold air. So north of the jet stream, we generally see some cooler air. South of it, it's warmer air, and we have that. But the extreme heat is due to this high pressure area that's in the mid levels of the atmosphere. So it's not necessarily way up in the atmosphere and it's not down at the surface. It's right smack dab in the middle. And what happens with high pressure is you get this sinking air. When air sinks, it compresses and it warms up. So it's that high pressure area that's located over the southeast United States that's causing this air to sink, compress, and warm up to extreme levels. That's what we've seen all weekend. That's what we'll probably see tomorrow. But as we move into Tuesday, that's going to push out of here and we're going to return back to more normal temperatures, certainly in the southeast. And then for us, we'll drop down just a few degrees by about Tuesday and Wednesday. Let's talk low temperatures for today. We did start the day in the 70s. Ought to have been about 79 degrees north of the lake, more so the lower 70s where you can clearly see south of the lake. It was upper 70s. And then we got hot this afternoon, but we did not touch any records. Got close in some spots. Uh, ought to have been 96. The record was 99. And then at the airport, only got up to about 93 degrees. Slidell 94. Slidell's record was 97. So we were quite close with that one. You can see those records back from 1980. So about, uh, what was that, 30 years ago or so. Precision cast going to show us that chance for showers just like what we dealt with today. Going to remain mostly isolated for tomorrow and into Tuesday. Now, hazy, hot, and humid, that's not going to change. High pressure down to the south here around high pressure. We generally get uh, air that moves in a clockwise direction, so we should continue to see these southerly winds. Chance of showers in the afternoon. Notice here, precision cast. I'll stop it right about, uh, we'll say, what, the 3 o'clock on Tuesday. Pretty small uh, threat for that rain, and if we do see it, I think... Uh, times it could be heavy, but overall just some passing uh, thunderstorms. And then the same thing for Wednesday, possibly dealing with some uh, coastal showers starting Wednesday morning. Now this kicks in tomorrow in the afternoon as well. An air quality alert for a lot of our viewers north of the lake and south of the lake. We're going to see some stagnant air. We talked about the direction coming out of the south, maybe unhealthy for sensitive groups. So that ozone action day kicks in starting 7 a.m. tomorrow and continues through uh, midnight. That is Monday night. Stay indoors, avoid peak heat hours. And uh, certainly if you have asthma, that's why you might be dealing with some of those uh, asthma like symptoms for the afternoon hours then tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies and muggy for those uh, forecasts tonight. 76 to 81 degrees. Then tomorrow we'll say 91 to 96. Sunshine and some clouds, isolated showers. Winds going to remain out of the south, southwest about 5 to 10 miles an hour there. Here's that seven day forecast. Let's take a quick look for Monday. Going to say 20% Tuesday, about 30%, but uh, the forecast doesn't change too much for the next seven days. We're looking at uh, temperatures in the lower 90s. Feels like number Scott going to be about 100 degrees and then just spotty showers in the afternoon. All right. Thanks a lot, Derek. Derek Kevra joins us now with our weekend forecast. It has been a soggy Saturday. Yeah, it has. We saw some pretty heavy showers earlier this morning. Parts of Uptown really getting hit hard over about an inch and a half of rain already. But hey, that's that's actually pretty good because we could certainly use some of those showers around here. Now, the reason that we've been dealing with a lot of rain over the last couple of days is this upper level area of high pressure. See what this is? 
is a high pressure area way upstairs in the atmosphere. And with a high pressure area, you get air that flows around it in a clockwise direction. So take a look at this. See how the air moving around it. Watch how all the rain is kind of following it here back out to the west and even towards the uh, east as well. See near New York how it's driving around. Well, that's also true down here to the south. So see how this air is moving from the east to the west and it's bringing a lot of that rain with it. So that's why it's been kind of an interesting day watching these showers pushing in from the east and moving off to the west. Now, I want to show you this as well. It's a visible satellite. What the visible satellite does is it gives us a really good look at where all of the clouds are because really what's happening here is we're getting pictures of the clouds coming from space. So it shows us where the breaks in the clouds are south of the lake. We're dealing with some some sunshine in a few different spots out there. Take a look as we zoom in just a little bit. You can see there are certainly some clouds out there near the city park area pushing towards New Orleans East, but north of the lake. Look around Mandeville right now. Some sunshine. Same with Madisonville and even back towards Slidell getting a break from that sun. But Baton Rouge, unfortunately, dealing with some very heavy cloud cover and some heavy rain as well. The radar going to show you that. See, here's Baton Rouge and that rain. But for us, a lot of our viewers not dealing with too much. Let's zoom into the metro area and you can see that there is a little bit of light activity starting to spark up just north of Baton Rouge. This cell likely to continue its track to the north, passing over Chalmette within the next 20 minutes. This is an hour loop here, so it really shows you that the rain, if you are dealing with it, it's not going to last that long. In fact, it's probably only about a 10 to 20 minute type event here as those showers continue to pull off to the north. Speaking of the north, do have a little bit of heavier rain near Bogalusa. See what the radar does, it shows you these uh, oranges and yellows. That's heavy rain. Rain, whereas the green, some of these lighter green colors, that's just light rain. And that's kind of some of the stuff that we're dealing with in a few spots. But near Lockport, oh, one of the heavier showers has started to pop up. Again, an hour loop showing that this has built over the last 45 minutes and likely to hang around probably for the next 30 minutes or so with those orange colors indicating that that rain is a little bit heavier. As far as what we saw today, high temperatures, they really didn't get all that high. 88 degrees was our high today, and that does fall in line with where we yeah, where our average numbers are for this time of year. 91 is that average high. The low we hit right on the head didn't get anywhere near that record of 100 degrees. That was from back in 1980 and the rainfall trace amounts of rain at the airport, but other spots saw a lot more than that. Take a look at uptown 1.84 inches starting today. Uptown as far as the water year went, we were down about five inches, so we'll take that 1.8 inches really kind of helps you save money on the water bill. Don't have to water the plants quite as frequently. Slide L north of the lake 1.3 inches and then in the French Quarter we saw one about one and a quarter inches of rain. That was of course since midnight. We still might get a little bit more rain from here on out, but let's take a look out there right now. Live shot of the city showing that there's a few clouds, but a few breaks of sunshine in there as well. Partly sunny skies being reported here. Temperatures 87 all around from Slidell back to Audubon and even to the airport. Still dealing with those numbers in the upper 80s. Dew points, so look at that 75 degree dew points indicating still a lot of moisture out there in the air and those winds out of the south certainly going to back that up, ushering in a lot of that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. Now the forecast for the next couple of days, keeping these rain chances around. In fact, stormy conditions could be expected not just in the afternoon, but also overnight as well. Let's pause this at 730 tomorrow morning. Notice some spotty showers for southeast Louisiana with some heavier rain showers off the coastline that could transition into a more active pattern in the afternoon. I think we could be dealing with a little bit more activity with those rain chances increasing to about 50%. And then we're going to keep a close eye on this cold front off to the north. Now I do not think that cold front is going to make it down here, so don't expect a blast of cool air or anything like that, but it will increase that chance of rain. Well, continue to keep that chance of rain elevated through the middle parts and end of the new work week. Tonight's forecast, mostly cloudy skies, spotty thunderstorms, temperatures between 73 and 78 degrees. That increases to about a 50% chance for scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon tomorrow with the temperatures back to about the upper 80s and lower 90s. And then take a look here at that seven day forecast, Tanya. Temperatures don't change a whole lot. They'll be right about 90 and I know the chance of rain 50%. Uh, some people are thinking, oh man, it's going to wash out the week. No, it won't. And also I think it'll really help us with that uh, water year kind of knocking that deficit down a little by little. Derek, thanks. We're going to have to keep those umbrellas handy. Yes, we will. Thanks.